the alphabet, hard. there's no way someone can okay, change the, the order. It's impossible. Yes, it's impossible. No. That's what I'm saying. So I refuse to do. Now, let's go to Quran. Quran is impossible for someone to change it. Muslim children, the age of eight and nine, the moment was the Quran word for word, the letter for letter. And not okay, about five or ten. Because yeah. the Bible's been rewritten a, a thousand times, and the last time it was rewritten was in English. No, the, the point here is the Bible wouldn't even have in its pure language. But the Quran's never been rewritten. No, the point here is also the, the Bible wouldn't even have it in its pure language. Jesus was not from Brixton. No, no, no. Jesus was of Palestine. Jesus never spoke French or English. Jesus spoke Aramaic. That language would not have it. So we don't know what Jesus said. In the reality, so the big time. Okay. Big sign. Oh. You see, that's why you need the Quran. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Wait, forget about the camera. The Bible is corrupt. Yeah. But I don't believe that the Bible is wrong. I don't believe that the Bible is wrong. So why is it difficult to corrupt the wrong? Because I also believe that nine out of ten religions follow the exact same story, just from a different standpoint. No, so but, I'm not saying that it's wrong, but I do think that. No, it's what wrong. I'm asking, what is different between corrupt and wrong? Because, okay, so corrupt means that it has a, a, a point to it. A corrupt, uh, has uh, mistakes. The Bible itself is supposed to be that of a positive nature. Say it again, sorry. It's supposed to be that of a positive nature. The problem is the corrupt side of it is, like you said, it has been rewritten a ridiculous amount of times. The last edition of it was in English. Therefore, we have got the Chinese whispers of the last edition, which is why I think that's the corruptness. I'm not saying that the original Bible is wrong, but I don't get what it's saying now. Because no, it's too con it's, corrupted it's, it's, mean. It Corrupted, yeah, no, and, and that cannot be from the Almighty no, because exactly. what, that's, what, that's, that's one of the criteria Allah to show mankind that the Quran from Him that He will not find no contradiction in the Quran because the one that's not contradict Himself is the Almighty. You understand? So if I was to read the Quran, I wouldn't find no, no contradiction. never contradiction in so the Quran. That's a challenge. I'll read, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will give you the Quran. Answer. No, no, my daughter's got one in her bag, but there's no corruption. No, there. you know what? That's what Allah changed people. Allah said in the Quran, if this book was from other than Allah, hear me, hear me. If if this book was from other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. Allah changed mankind to find any contradictions, and that's why one of the miracles of the Quran that and now we can we can verify and we can the claim. You know, there's a claim in the Quran that the Quran will be preserved. Now, if the Jews and the Christians and the Muslims burn their scriptures, the only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Do you, let me, do you know who can bring it back into written form? No, the Muslim scholars, the Muslim children can do that. As for the Christians and the Jews, they have even memorized one chapter in that scripture. No, one gospel, one chapter. Have you memorized chapter from where? John? John, tell me what John 5 2 says. John 3, 16, so, okay. No, no, I didn't ask you five two. You Christian scholars have no more words the Bible. I'm, at, I'm asking you what John 5 2 said. <laughs> You're asking it. Do you know how many Christians have you imagined you didn't ask them instead? Like, stop. All I'm I bring any Christians here, they have no more as one page. No, all I'm saying is. Okay, we Muslims. So, this part right here. This part right here is what nation of Islam does. Who is nation of Islam? Nation of Islam. They've memorized parts of the the Quran and they shout it at people in the. Nah, uh, nation of Islam. They're not Muslims. Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam is like Hebrew is alive. It's a reaction of racism in Harlem. In Harlem and in New York, especially New York, what happened when some black people wants to fight back racism? They start utilizing Bible and some start utilizing the Quran. Nation of Islam are racist. They believe the white man is a devil. That's not the teaching of Prophet Muhammad A devil can be white, black, Arab, non-Arab. It's not about your skin color. That's why in the Quran says, "Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum." The most righteous person with Allah, not the black man, not the white man, not the Arab. No, the one who has piety and righteousness. And the Prophet Muhammad said, "There's no difference between a black and a non-black, between an Arab and non-Arab." except with piety and righteousness. That's why Prophet Muhammad's uncle is going to the hellfire. And Bilal from Abyssinia, he was a slave, he's going to go to paradise to show you that Islam, go and get the teaching of a nation of Islam. Those people understand. So Islam is not about skin color. I need to read that book. Here, no, Here as a why, gift for you. I need to read that book. No, the reason why I say that is because the Bible has a lot about slavery and a lot about culture. No, no, let me tell you about slavery. No, no, let me tell you about slavery. In Islam, let me tell you about slavery. You know what happened before transatlantic slavery? Everyone was enslaving everyone. It's known. You know, Egyptians, Hebrew, Egyptians, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. But Islam comes in, 
there is slavery already, servitude. I don't like to use the term slavery because automatically people think what? Yeah, yeah, Transatlantic. Yeah, so servitude. In Islam comes in and there is a servitude. Islam, the only time when servitude is allowed in Islam in a time of war. But as for going around kidnapping people, Prophet Muhammad said, anyone that goes around kidnap people and make them as a slave, then Allah will be his opponent on the Day of Judgment. In another narration, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said, anyone that goes around and enslave black people or white people out of any person, take them as slaves, kidnap them, then his prayer will not be accepted. That's why if the Europeans follow the Islamic teaching, they wouldn't have gone to Africa and enslave black people. But when they utilize the Bible, that's why the first boat that departed from Africa to America was what? In the name of Jesus. The Bible was utilized to enslave the black people, you understand? That's why when they came to Africa, say close your eyes and pray and they took the lens. The okay. French had to do it to us. But anyway, I don't want to give you too much information. Let's go back to the main point. I, I need to go do you only believe in one God, you understand? Yeah, but you need to worship God according to his teaching. And that is in Islam. Well, I know about Pastor Bar, I know about Christianity. So I'm Read it. Look, that up. look after yourself. Take care, yes? Uh, okay. Where are you going for the Are you ready for me now? You ready for me? <laughs> Jesus cannot be God. No, no, what's Jesus is God. Uh, uh, let me ask you, is Jesus God? Jesus is not God. Uh, what is he? Yeah. Prophet of God. So you come to Islam clo closer, mashallah. Yeah. So now, can you tell me, can you tell me, can you trust the Bible? Yeah. Can you trust the Bible? Right now, my brain may get whole, so I can't store much thing in my brain. You have to translate some to your man. No, you Jamaican, it's my people. No, no, get, get whole. No, no, ask you, can you trust the writers of the Bible? Testament, can you trust them? What do you mean by that? Okay, do you know who wrote the manuscripts that the, the King James no, based upon? No, I know that, um, you see, the, yeah, the Bible can't um, can for two books, yeah? No, you... No, let me say something. You can't for the Old Testament and the New Testament. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking you simply, Uncle, the New Testament... Matthew, Mark, John and them, and them. No, no, I mean, yeah. Matthew. King James, James, yeah, King, King James, King James yeah. is based upon the manuscript. Yeah, yeah. That manuscript yeah. came literally 700 years later after Jesus. We don't know how it is. We just found it, discovered it, dusted it out, and we start blank following it. As a Muslim, we ask questions. Who wrote it? Were they trustworthy? Were they truthful? Doesn't mean because something is ancient, we have to follow it. So my point here is, no, 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 hear me out. Men inspired to wrote things. No, hear me out. Do you know their names? No, Those two no, of the manuscripts. No, I don't really know them names, but you know they are. they trustworthy if you don't know their names? Are they trustworthy? No, but you them. can't trust somebody. Khala, so why are you, you following the book? Myself. So why are you following the Bible? Eh? Why are you following the book to worship the Creator, the Most High? No, them um, Jesus died to return. Again, you, yeah, yeah. again, That's uncle, why, uncle, the information you got it from a yeah. book, you don't know who wrote it. No, but I said, it's by a man. Father, brother, go ahead. Yeah. Just, just nice. No, no, no problem. Byron, my name is Byron. Nice to meet you, Byron. My name is Shamsi. Cool. But can you trust me? I don't know you, I can't trust you. Right, so there you go. So how, how is that argument? That's, 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 that's true, that's true. No, no, for you to understand, yeah. No so my point here is, me. my point here is, I'm speaking to the uncle here. Yeah, yeah, I said to him, look, King James yeah. is based upon a manuscript. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That manuscript was discovered literally 100 years after. Okay. That literally, the, 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 the Christian scholars say to you, that manuscript is a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy okay. of a copy of the original one. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Or more than that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm asking him, if you don't know the writers, can we trust him? He said, no. I said, so how can you worship God on a book you don't know who wrote it? That's my point. As for the Muslim who come to the other side, we know the Quran. The Quran was not passed down to us by a book that we discovered in, in Saudi 700 years after Prophet Muhammad. Okay. No, the Quran was passed down to us generation after generation. It, since mm. Memorization, yeah. So the time Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu was salam, he used to receive the revelation, read it out to his companions, they read it out to him, write it down, and then there was scholars at the time Prophet Muhammad, okay. they were known, their job is to teach the Quran. Okay. Yeah, yeah. From the time Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you go to any mosque, like in our mosque, we have five people that memorize the Quran, word for word, letter for letter. That's their job, to teach the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these five people, there, some of them have a chain of narration that goes back to Prophet Muhammad. Okay. So we know Abu Bakr as Siddiq. His name is Abdullah ibn Abi Quhafa. We know him very well. We know Abdul Khattab. We know Uthman ibn Affan. We know Ali ibn Abi Talib. We know Abu Huraira. We know Anas ibn Malik. We know Mu'ad ibn Jabal. I know these names very well. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, but we know them very well. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to Christianity, yeah, yeah. they rely on manuscripts that was found or discovered 100 years after. 
Okay. So my argument is, like you said, I don't know you. Can I yeah. trust you? Okay. I can I trust you? Yeah. So if I cannot trust you, imagine you tell me, yeah, Jesus, nobody, imagine you tell me, Jesus died for your sins. I said, what? Who said that to you? I don't I, even know you. No, I mean, I, I do understand what you say. I mean, I'm not a Christian, but I do believe in the Bible. I do. I don't believe in Christianity. I think it's devil worship. That's my personal opinion. But the Bible, I think, is 100% true. That's, that's just me. Yeah. Um, so I understand everything you're saying. I get it, and I think, you know, even when you said die for your sins, people in the Bible, they was forgiven without Jesus being there. So, that's, we that's, have, you know, yeah, we have a lot of... That's right. But so, sorry. don't you think that with what you said as well, and I'm just nicely talking about Yeah, no problem. Ain't there a such thing as Chinese whispers as well, though? So, yeah. someone memorizing, is there not a chance that they could forget and make uh, up and give to you and you but I get you so said could, could it happen no problem. Asking, but it is it Chinese you know it's Chinese whisper mean is a whisper you know teaching openly okay so a reputation prophet Quran was not be was not being taught in the people's ears one by or not openly prophet Muhammad teaches companions by a hundred hundred people okay. you understand right, so yeah, that yeah. is a reputation and get Chinese whisper yeah. also Prophet Muhammad, when he used to read it out to his companions, okay. there was hundreds of them or thousands of them sometimes, okay. they read it out to him. Okay. They sit in the mosque, memorize it, you know? Yeah. And also, the Almighty already promised that he will preserve the Quran. That's why there is a claim in the Quran. Because I'm not saying to you because the Quran said it, just believe in it. No, when the Quran makes claim, it backs it up with a proof. What's the proof? How, how uh, do they find this proof? Ah, uh, that's a good point. So now, like I mentioned many times, if the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians, all of them decided to burn their scriptures, burn it. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave no, nothing in the written form. Okay. The only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Okay. Do you know why? Because hundreds of million of people memorize the Quran word for word. I'm not talking about two, five, four, okay. hundred million of people memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. Okay. The Muslim scholars do that. I'm talking about the Muslim children at the age of five, yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. No, no, my daughter, no, no. my daughter, she's nearly five or six. She memorized four chapters of the Quran. From my, from my mind, straight away, you understand? My other one, seven, you understand? So my point here is that that claim, we can verify it right now. It, that, so therefore, that claim cannot be a claim of a normal human being. It has to be a claim of the creator of human beings because that claim, the, it was said 1,400 years ago. Okay. And we can verify it right now. Okay. Do you understand my point? Okay. So my point to you, again, how can you claim the Bible is absolute truth if you don't know who wrote it? I, d I don't know if it's about knowing who wrote it though. I think it's about seeing the proof happen in front of you. So in sense, even down to Muslims, yeah. how do you become a Muslim? Okay, what I do you have to believe in? Um, and who, who, who do you get saved by if you believe it like that? No, uh, you, we, we, your terminology. Uh, well, it, to become Muslim is to believe there is no one worthy of worship in truth except okay. Allah, yeah. the creator of everything. Which I agree. And you believe in Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. And you believe in Jesus to be the Messiah and the Messenger of Allah, and to believe all the prophets and the messengers. Okay. If someone does not believe Jesus, if, if someone claims to be a Muslim, and he does not believe in Jesus to be the Messiah, and the true Messiah and the Messenger of Allah, he's not a Muslim. So does the Quran say that you go to God through Jesus? No, no. The Quran teaches us that Allah said the prophets, uh, prophets and messengers to teach people how to worship God. So imagine now if I was alive as a Muslim, you believe, if I was alive at the time of Jesus and I was from the Israelite, the only way to get to God is by following Jesus' teaching because, because he was the anointed one. Okay. He was the chosen one. Okay. Before Jesus was Moses. Now I believe as the last prophet is Muhammad. Therefore, there is no salvation except by following his teaching. You understand? And who does Muhammad follow? Pro, uh, follow the creator of everything. But he, does he follow them through Jesus? No, 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 what do you mean? Does it so, come with the same so, teaching? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We so believe. Does it pass down? Is it passed down? Yes, we believe. Yeah. We believe all works? the prophets and messengers came with the same foundation. Okay. And that is believe in God alone. Okay. Don't worship no one beside him. Okay. And believe in the prophets and the messengers. Believe in the books. Believe that there is a life after death. You understand? Okay. So we believe that uh, this is called the foundation. However, some legislation was given to some prophets and messengers different than the other prophets and messengers. How you understand? Is that different to the Bible, what you just said. How is it different? I'll tell you how it's different. For example, the Bible believe, tells you that Jesus came to die for your sins. As Paul said that. We don't believe that. We believe you are responsible for your sins. But what is yeah, but when he says die for your sins, how do you um, 
perceive that? How how do you think that is? Do you do we believe it's by the blood? Is this what the Christianity is? Is that what it is? Yeah, of course, that's what they say. Okay, that's they say Jesus okay. died for your Biblically, sins. Biblically though, yeah. so like Paul, you know, let's go like Paul. Right? Yeah, Paul, Paul, yeah, Paul. Let's go like Paul. Right? Because okay, yeah, I believe Paul changed it, yeah. Like so, so the point here is, in the Bible, in the Bible, when you read the Bible, clearly, for example, Jesus to be a son of God. That is the biggest, uh, that, that's one of the worst evil statements you can attribute to the Creator. Because that, that, yeah, no problem. Allah answered that. Allah said, وَقَالُوا تَخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدَ They said, the most high, the most beneficent, have a begotten son. You came with the most evil statement. Then Allah goes on to mention, It's not befitting for the Most High, the Almighty, the Creator, to have a son. Because that's the nature of the creation. It's not the nature of the Creator. You understand? So the Creator is not the creation. The creation to have a son, to pass on the heritage, to pass on and so on. That's not the nature of the Most High, the Almighty. You understand? Ain't that what we... Ain't that what he does through us though? Is that not what he does? What do you mean? Pass on himself through yeah, us. Is that not what we're, we're um, studying? Is that not why we study yeah, the Quran? Is that not why we study the Quran? No, no, we are... I'm asking... I'm not even arguing. Yeah, no, no. No, no, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here for 15 years, yeah, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you can ask any question. Right so my point, no, that's not the same because when you, a son is an English word, yeah? Okay. Let us define in English, according to English language, to any language. So what would you do, with, how would you say it in Arabic? Walid. Okay. Ibn or Walid. Same thing. If a man, man, if a man and a woman, firstly, when a man and a woman get together, produce a son, which is a biological son. Okay. Or an old man, call a young man, my son. Okay. Or stepson, okay. you see, that is so. None of this. So come, come, listen, listen to the truth. Don't run away. So none, none of that befits the Most High. You understand? That's why we are called the servants. Okay. The, the creation. Let me, let me, let me, let me. The creation of the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Creator, the Creator, the, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, the Israelites. They used to utilize the sun as a symbol for someone who is righteous. Okay. However, when the Roman pagans accepted Christianity, they adapted that and they took it literally. Okay. Let me ask you, do you know which person was born on the 25th of December? Uh, That's not true, it's Mithra. Mithra is the sun god of the Greeks. Oh, yeah, no, the I sun god of the Greeks called Mithra I'm was born I'm on not the doing Christmas either, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let me ask, show you, show you. The, the, so the concept of a god son yeah. already existed among the pagan Romans before Christianity. Okay. So Jesus never came with his teaching. Okay. No Moses that, that was a symbol as a righteous person. But they took it literally because why? Jesus, as we believe, no doubt, he was born without a father. Okay. But that doesn't mean because Jesus was born without a father, Therefore, his father is God. We tell because, Joseph. Hey, we tell Joseph. You have to make it. I told Joseph. God wants to show us. Mary, <laughs> William Burrow, William Burrow. You know, let me finish. <laughs> yeah, no. So, I told him. We 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 told So, God wants to show us his power. God created paradise. Pure good. Create the hellfire. Pure evil. Then he created this life. Is mixed good with evil. Okay. God created Adam without a man and a woman. Okay. Then he created Eve from, Eve from uh, from, Adam. from Adam, not a woman. No, and God created Jesus Eve from a woman, not a man, yeah, to show us the Almighty is able. Hear me out. You know, the first Shaitan, man. He's able. The Almighty shown us is able to create. No, he's not. He's not bound by this human lim limitation. Okay. God can create a man without a uh, husband. Uh, uh, yeah. That's, that's very rude, uncle. No, that's very rude. Mary. We heard your time. That's, you that's time. his time now. Time. Your time is over. Uncle, even the rest are very rude with you. My point here is, when you see the Old Testament, you go and guess the teaching of the Almighty, worshiping God alone, Jesus to be Son of God, die for your sins, none of that. So if God, if God made Adam, yeah. So what did he make then? If it weren't a son, what what is it he made? Creation. John. If I if I make a car, it's like car my son. Some people say. A car is my son. Some people say. But only true. That's, that's that's my baby. No, no, but that's what some no. people would say. So you're gonna. Wait, wait, wait. No, but that, 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 that's metaphorical. Right. 
But then the Bible is not topography. No, but if it's not, it's better to stay away from it. That's why, even if it's not topography, because why it can confuse people. Oh, you understand? That's why, Islamically speaking, always we like to utilize terminologies that is clear, that doesn't cause confusion. Right. You understand? Oh, I get what you understand because the Almighty is not the author of confusion. Yes. So it's not that you're actually against it. I'm no, guessing any form. Huh? I'm, I'm guessing any form, metaphorical or non metaphorical. You are guessing because it caused confusion. Okay. That's what Allah said in the Quran. Okay. Oh, Muhammad, say to them, if the most high, if the most high have the cotton sun, I will be from the first people to worship him. So, no, but that's not befitting for the most high. No, 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 let me talk now. Yeah, man. Right. No, I'm speaking to you. No, no, no. I spoke to you last week. Come back. Come back. Yeah, 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 come you want to worship the most high, correct, brother? You want to worship the most high? You want to worship the most high? Okay, so should we worship the most high according to his teaching or according to our feelings? His teaching. His teaching. Prove to me the New Testament came from God. I don't know how I can do it. Okay, so that's, that's why the beauty of Islam, Islam is not based upon feelings. Okay. It, when, it, when a prophet Muhammad, when God sent the prophets and messengers, okay. he doesn't not send them with the personal experience. He doesn't send them by saying, no, I had a dream, that's it. He will give proofs why they are the messengers of the Most well, High. It's the proof. So, now, John, sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to jump yeah. in. So, would it be proof if you're reading a book and it manifests in you? Is that proof enough? In what way manifests in you? In so, what way? if you change and change for the better, and change more godly if you want to put it in that term is that not proof enough but in what way so now imagine now the hindus they say same thing the yeah, buddhist same asking, thing I'm asking you no no it's, uh, that's I'm not the criteria how, how are we going to have the proof yeah that, that's not in the what sense would we have proof? yeah but again that, that that's one of the criteria but there's not absolute one because why now when you look to the bible yes the bible doesn't not give us solutions for our problems uh, okay, and I'll give you a simple. Oh, please. One of the th one of the destroyer of society is alcohol, wine. Okay. Does the Bible teach you to drink or not a to drink? Little. A little. It says a little. Scientifically proven, well established, little of alcohol damages your kidney. A little. Even little. Therefore, the okay. Most High will not tell us to drink something to harm ourselves. So, That's why, Islamically okay. speak, so, Allah mentioned the Quran. Yep. Anything that harms you, stay away from it. So the Most High, the All Wise, okay. will not legislate a wine because you believe a wine is the blood of Jesus. And if you really love Jesus, you're gonna drink more of His blood. Correct? No, that's Christianity. That's not me. No, that's, that's the Bible. Biblical. That's no, the Bible. No, no that's, that's not the Bible. That ain't what the Bible says. So the Bible is gone. Christianity okay. yeah. overstates a lot of things. So they would overdo a lot of things. But the Bible don't say drink more. No, that's more the Bible more teach more. you the wine is the blood of Jesus. It's a reference of the blood of Jesus. Okay, so if is the blood of Jesus. Don't you not love Jesus? Yeah. So the, 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 I, the, I love I love uh, sneakers, but I don't mean I have to eat thousand. Are you gonna buy many stuff? Right, then, you understand? But then the thing is, even on that concept, you said that it's not right. Okay. But even eating a sneaker is bad for your body too. So then, where does that stop? Then? No, but a little, a little is not bad. I'm but talking about. Said wine it is. Look, I always say about wine. Okay. Well, I'm saying wine. Now look, Prophet Muhammad told us. A little of wine yeah. just as a lot and it's true why because remember if you get gonna get you yeah. how people start how people get hooked in drugs yeah, 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 how yeah, 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 even little yeah, you touch yeah, it you see I've been there, that's why yeah, 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 that yeah. you know that's why islam you know yeah, yeah. I, i've been that lifestyle yeah, yeah, too yeah, yeah, you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why you know, so that's why islam what does it say about alcohol it's, it doesn't say don't drink it's a fresh tenibu tenibu mean stay far away from it okay. that's what prophet muhammad cursed the person who serve it the person who drink it, the person who sit, sit around it, because this called the, the alcohol called the mother of evil. If you okay. drink a little, we will lead you. So therefore, this book, the Bible, is not good for our society. It is allowing us and teaching us to drink a little of wine, because that's what the deception of a Satan, step by step. But then where does that principle stop? Because even if you look at children these days, when their mum says they can't go into a sweet shop, they start throwing hissy things, diving and stuff. Why? 
because they're actually addicted to the sugar. So where does that principle stop? Is it just with wine or is that with bad things all together? How, does you, how do you know? No, okay. One, because sugar is poison. We no, no, no doubt about that. No yeah. doubt about okay. that. That's cool. why Islamically speaking, anything that harms your body anything. is forbidden. Anything, um, understand? Oh, okay. yeah, and yeah. alcohol stated clearly about alcohol. Right. That's what Allah said in the Quran. لا تلقوا أنفسكم إلى التهلكة. Do not put yourself into harm. That's why Islam, from the Islamic principle, repelling away evil, take precedence over bringing goodness. Okay. Understand? Yeah, yeah. So always try to stay away from the evil things. So my point here is about the Bible teaches you to become something better. I'm not negating everything in the Bible. There is some truth in it. Let me clarify myself. There is, like, be good to your neighbors. But all of that will share this. But, but the Bible does not pay attention to the most important things. How to fix society as a whole. For example, Christianity is only for the people to be in church. It's not for the government. The government doesn't have a system to follow. But this is why I need to stop. Sorry, I just No problem, no problem. Can we not do the Christianity talk? I'll tell you why. No, the Bible is about the Bible, yeah, sorry. Because sorry. Christianity <laughs> and Bible are two different things. I agree. They don't believe in the Bible, and that's just. But they say they believe in the well, Bible. They say they yeah. do, but we all know they but don't. The New so Testament. Let's just talk in biblical okay, order, the New yeah? Testament. Yeah. Because we have to understand, brother, yeah? The Almighty will not create the creation without giving us a guideline. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guideline as a whole and as individuals. Okay. You see? That's why one of the beauty of Islam. Islam came to preserve five things. Let me just show you about Islam. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Came to preserve five things. First, Islam came to preserve the oneness of God. That's why paganism, politism is forbidden Islam. A man came to Prophet Muhammad and he bowed down to him. Prophet Muhammad said to him, why are you bowing down? He said, I was in Yemen and I saw people bowing down to their kings. He said, don't bow down to no one except to the Most High. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So anything that comes to corrupt the oneness of God, worshiping God alone in Islam is forbidden. Yes? Secondly, Islam came to preserve intellect. Yeah, yeah. That's why alcohol, drugs is forbidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve marriage life. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Fifthly, Islam came to preserve life. That's why killing people and justice is forbidden. And these five things that Islam came to preserve is not just say stay away from it. No, there is a punishment for those who go and do it. And those punishments is upon the government to establish that law for the people. Understand? To save the society. So these 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 five things that Islam came to preserve, the opposite of it is destroying societies. Alcohol is destroying societies. They say NHS is bleeding because of alcohol, yes, because of drugs, because of gambling, because of interest, because of fornication, adultery. That's why majority of people who hate Islam either are ignorant or those who are in power, those who are making money from these vices and they see as Islam as a threat for their business, even though Islam is, is good for us individually and collectively. So this legislation, who came with it? A man that existed 1,400 years ago, who couldn't read and write, but he came with the perfect way of life for us individually and collectively. On the other hand, we have the Bible, the New Testament. We have these politicians who study in the best universities around the world. They cannot resolve the problem that we are facing. And the Most High, like we agreed, He will not leave us without a guideline. And that guideline for us individually and collectively is in Islam because it came from the Almighty. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, no, no, I, listen, I'll tell you what, just to give you a bit of feedback. Yeah. Obviously, I was raised as a Christian. Yeah. Um, so you guys were my enemy. Okay. <laughs> you were my absolute enemy. In fact, I would probably fight you on the road. Yeah. But the more I've done research, I sat there going, okay, in the scriptures, of the Bible, I could actually see more Muslim than I can Christianity <laughs> in the own scriptures. There is some passage, yeah. that's true. Especially yeah. go to Old Testament. Yeah. So Old I Testament. Think, yeah. Definitely. I sorry think to cut you. Sorry. Thing, no, you are. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would sit there and say now on it is that I don't know. I read the Quran, but I haven't gone through it. Through. Yes. Um, I don't know where it says that Jesus or any of them was Muslim or Christian. So it does say he's a Muslim. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Allah mentioned the Quran. That in the Dina in the Allah is Islam. The religion with Allah is Al Islam. So is it again? The religion with Allah is Al Islam. Okay. In Surah Al Ma'idah, if you get Surah Al Ma'idah, 
هذا سوره المائده او جيف يو ذا بوك ان شاء الله انا سوره الله منشن اباوت جيسس اند هيز فولوورز ذا سي وي ار مسلمز بارك الله فيك ذا سي وي ار مسلمز موسى ذا مسلم ماني بيبل ميس انديرستاند وات 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 از ات مين وين القران ساس جيسس موسى ابراهام او ذا بروفيتس اند مسلمز ويز مسلمز ذا مين ذا سبيك ان عربيك اوكي That's the mean they said it in Arabic language. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some of them spoke Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them spoke Aramaic or yeah, yeah. Syriac, which is similar to Arabic. It means they submit to God according to God's teaching. Right, but it doesn't. Okay, I agree with you. So that's that's the but meaning of Islam. It doesn't say outright. Though, no? no, the Quran says outright. Jesus says, was a Muslim. Yeah, Jesus was a, a Muslim. Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. Right. Abraham. Mo it Moses says said. It in yeah, clearly, clearly. Okay. In the Maida, Moses is well, He said, "I am from the Muslims, and I'm from the Muslims." Okay. Uh, Abraham. I'm from the Muslims, so it clear. And I'm the first Muslim. I swear. And I'm the first Muslim. We are the first Muslims. I swear. I'm speaking to him. I'm speaking to him. I don't worship devils. Does the devil tell you to worship God alone? I'm from Muhammad. I'm from what? From Muhammad. Yeah, from Prophet Muhammad. You're lying. Take care of yourself. You're lying. Anyway, so my point here is, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, this is this is the Christian. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my point here is, it says, it says clearly. Oh, okay, but my point here is, look, when you read the Old Testament, I agree, especially in the Old Testament, there's very similar, a lot of similarities yeah, yeah. between Islam and the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, the Old Testament teaches you to follow God's teaching. There's the rules and the law. However, Islam, that we don't believe just by following the rules, you're going to enter paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe firstly, and the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the most important thing, you enter paradise because of the mercy of the Creator, okay. because of His grace. By His grace, okay. there's conditions to it that you worship Him alone. You don't worship no one beside Him, okay. and you follow His teaching. You understand? So, I mean, let's go back to the Old Testament. For example, the Old Testament. Yeah. Let me ask you. Or well, before that, let me just lay down a foundation. The Old Testament, the New Testament. I believe there's some truth in it, no doubt. However, I believe there's a lot of falsehood, and I can show you, for example. Does God regret? Sorry. Does God regret? Regret? Why is regret? Regret, for example. Sorry, I forgot your name. What's your name again? Byron. Byron, yeah. My name is Shamsi again. Remind you. Yeah, yeah. Imagine I said Byron. That's my camera. Yeah, yeah. Take care of it. I'm just gonna go to buy something and come back. Yeah, yeah. I go. I come back. You gone. Take my camera. So I say, because I didn't know. I regret for letting Byron take it instead. So now, when you look to Samuel. In Samuel, it says God greatly regrets for choosing Saul as a king, because he turned his back on him. What scripture is that? Can I get that? That is in Samuel first fifteen. Okay. I'll show you. First fifteen, yeah. Them get Samuel, them them born thinking. Even that you go read about. Them born thinking. No, no, we're gonna read. Them born tossing. They can't toss men. They couldn't toss men. So I'm saying you have a born thinking. Them leave him alone. Uncle, out, 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 out. Even that, I have a problem with. But okay, yeah. sorry, one second, I'll just get it out. Yeah, no problem. That, you know, that's why I come to speak as corner. When I speak to people like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. they encourage me to come back. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I speak to some people. I can't do the ignorance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we are here to yeah. have a nice conversation, yeah, yeah, respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. way. You know, yeah. I, you, you want good for me, and I want good for that's, you too. You understand? It. Right, Samuel, yeah, first Samuel. Yeah, first Samuel. Go to uh, first Samuel 15, 15. chapter 15, 11. Sorry, am I reading? You want to read? Okay, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, it's up there. Ten, yeah. Then, uh, my brother, uh, 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 this guy, uh, please, please. Is he? You know, you know, sorry, sorry. You know, Prophet Muhammad. To show you, some Muslims don't follow teaching Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. Prophet Muhammad, we, he was with his disciples, and they start saying loudly, Allahu Akbar. Yeah, yeah. He said, Allah is not deaf, he can hear you. Yeah, yeah, he does yeah, yeah. loudly. He hears you from heaven. He hears everything. <laughs> he hears everything. You see? So he's coming shouting, doesn't prove. Because yeah, no, Prophet no, Muhammad no. teaches us, don't do that. Exactly. You know? I have the same thing with the Christians. Eleven, you so, but you don't walk nothing. <laughs> uh, let's go. So number 10. 11. It's repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he, he, he stand back from following me. So this is the old English. Okay, yeah, here. Yeah. It's written. He has to repent. repent yeah. Go to repent. Around. He turns around. Yeah, but when you repent, what does it mean? Turn around. Why are you turn around? From what? From what he's done. Yeah, why? Because it's wrong or right? What if he's turned around? Yeah, because it it's, it's wrong. Yeah. God doesn't make yeah. no wrong. 
Okay, let me read this one more time. Read this. Give me one second. Yeah. You read the whole context. Read the whole okay, context. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the beginning. Why God said that? Eid Mubarak, man. Eid Mubarak. That's not the nature of the Most High. Okay. All right. Cool. That is not the nature of the Most High. That's why when you look to how God has been described in the Bible and you compare how God has been described in the Quran, also look how the prophets of God have been described in the, in the Bible and how they have been described in the Quran. Let us go through some examples. Yeah? In, the, in the Bible, in Leviticus, either Leviticus or Numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. to show you another deficiency that the scribes of the Bible, the Old Testament, ascribed to the Most High. They said God created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in the sixth day. Six days. In the seventh day, rested and refreshed. Refreshed by definition when you become re energized. Okay. That is not the nature of the Most High. No, you don't need the to. Most, th thank you very much. When you compare these statements, we have in the Quran Allah said, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ وَمَا مَسَّنَا مِنْ لُغُوبٍ The meaning of the verse, we have created the heavens and the earth and that which is between them in six days and no fatigue overcame us. The Muslim scholar said the reason Allah mentioned that to refute the lies been attributed to him by the scribes of the Old Testament that he rested and refreshed. So Allah said, no fatigue overcame us. So don't think because we created, Allah creates creation, therefore we became tired, no. No fatigue overcame us, even touched us, yeah? That's one. The other one, when you look to, uh, we, do you know how the language came about? No, go. Okay, in the, in the Old Testament, that's in the Old Testament, Genesis. Genesis, God looked upon the earth, and he saw people, the Babylon, Okay. He saw yeah, people yeah, yeah. speaking one language yeah, yeah, yeah. and they start building oh, oh, yeah, cool. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Start okay. building two yeah, yeah, yeah. build, build, yeah, yeah. 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 buildings, yeah? yeah? So he said, God... They were together, they were heaven, yeah? not, he said, oh, they are speaking one language yeah. and yeah. They, nothing can stop them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go back to Sumerians, pre-Judaism, Sumerians used to believe if you build two buildings, you'll be able to reach the sky and you overthrow God. Okay. But we know that's not true. The sky is too far for him to reach it. So we know that the, the, the one who wrote that passage in, the, in Genesis, he didn't know how far the sky from the earth. Therefore, it's not from God, firstly. Secondly, God, does, God doesn't worry him that people speak one language. Compare this, what Prophet Muhammad told us. Prophet Muhammad told us that Allah said, all mankind and the demon, not just mankind, yeah, yeah. even the jinn, the demon. Yeah. If all of you come together and you have the most evil heart, that ever existed. All of you have the same most evil heart that will not harm Allah. Agreed. But just asking. Yeah. That reference of the Bible. Genesis. Is it, yeah. Is it not just trying to tell you how we should be working as one and what you can achieve if you do? No, it's not teaching us that. Why what not? Is no, it's, not, it's not teaching that. That teaching us that God became worried. Because people are working as is that one. What it says? Yeah, yeah. Is that your no, 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 no. I don't believe it's uh, 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 read it. Read it. Read it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna miss quotes. Read it. No, 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 no. And again, <laughs> depends which translation you're gonna read. Only King James. But, uh, okay, I, I read the other one, but how uh, King James? Yeah, yeah. Only King James. Go King James. That in Genesis 11 something, if I don't remember exactly. Oh, sorry. 11 something. He says, he said, God big. So what God did? They speak in one language. They been said nothing can stop them. But it's and not I true. I see the word worried. Is that what I'm looking for? Right? I, I read it. So I, 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 if I did King James or ESV. Yeah, I'm not going to any other one apart from King James. Okay, King James, I don't know why exactly what King James, but you can go to it, read it. It's real, it's huh? real hot, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, alhamdulillah, the brother is there. Because you're facing the, the sun, man. You, be, uh, you became fish and chips, brother. There is no historical evidence of the Tower of Babylon. Absolutely no historical evidence. That's a different thing. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. from Humerus. When he, when he went to Babylon, yeah. he heard tales of people right here. Right? Yeah, there's a proof for it. Well, not, but no, but there's a proof that he just tells. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm showing him. Because he took something from Sumerians, which show us 
the person who wrote it, he doesn't know the distance from here to the heaven. Right, if you would like to, because I can't see worried anywhere there okay. or anything like that. Like I said, okay, and the whole earth. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's going okay. to go down. It's cracked. <laughs> ah, okay. And the whole earth was on, it was one of language and one of one speech. And came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, they found a plan and a shina and the dwelt. It goes to as built as a city and tower. We stop, let's make us a name. Let's we be scattered here. Yeah? And the Lord came down, okay. Yes. The Lord came down to see the city and tower, which shouldn't from me. And the Lord said, Behold, yeah, the people is one, and they have own one language, and this they began to do. Now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down and there confuse their language, that they might not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from hands. Okay, this is not the, the one here, right. but let us read the context, yeah? Okay. So they're speaking one language. They're building the tall towers. God, what happened to him? Well, when he saw, when God saw them doing that, why? Because he wants to separate them, right? Why? Why not? Because he, that's why he became God, worried. God. You know why? No, no, no. I tell you what. I'm not put words. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I will tell you why. Yeah. Okay. They speak in one language. Yeah. So what? The Almighty, even we speak one language, is not going to harm him. The context said to us, tell us, God said nothing can stop them now. Yeah. So nothing can stop them because one of the things that I try to do to reach the heaven. Right. No, the only the only discrepancy I will have here. Yeah. Sorry. Go is um, I don't believe in free will, and like you said, God you don't believe in what? Free will. You don't believe free will. Oh, no. And I don't. Well, can I have the phone? Go on. I took it. <laughs> I've been forced. You can't just true blame me. No, no, no. But then God there's no free will. So keep it. I'm gonna say, but you can't blame God me. It. No, I'm not blaming you. God wants you to have it. Keep it. I'm taking it. Take it. Can I get it back as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's what he tells me no, to do. No, no, no. no free will, no. You can no, only no, no, get free will. No, no. I don't believe in free will. No, no. You can yeah, only get free will. That's, that's another one. one. Yeah? That's but I don't believe in that. So be forced to, you mean? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah, so go, we've been guided That's oppression, though. It's guided. No, no, no. no. Free will. Free will doesn't oh. not negate. Go show you guidance. Doesn't not oh. negate free will. All right. Okay. So if you're born. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're going off. But, yeah, yeah. Go, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back to the main point. Go back that. So uh, let me remember, right. what we're doing, we're showing how the perfection of God in the yeah. Quran yeah, yeah, and Islamic teaching. I uh, know, uh, I'm okay, you know, but okay, I love you. Uh, okay, pass it, pass it. Thank you. You're welcome. Man. So what I'm trying to say is that, obviously, to me, I see that as a unit, that like, um, they're unified. And I've seen that's how God is showing they're unified. And what we can do if we are unified, which is what you're excessively trying to do by teaching me the Quran, being unified, being one. There's no problem with that, it's something good yeah. so, to be unified in following God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's how I see it. So in that verse... I no, see... you become Christian now. No, no, no. You no, become no, Christian now. That's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> yeah. That if we... <laughs> you become a Christian now, we you're added to it. What can we do? We cannot, over... we cannot overpower God. Agreed. God doesn't care if you become one. Agreed. That's why, look, the teaching of Prophet, Islamic teaching. Islamic teaching show us even if we are the most evil people, speak one language, united upon one evil, will not harm Allah, will harm us. And in another in the same narration, even if we have the most righteous hearts, that will not benefit Allah, will benefit us only. So what it show us, first is that teaching pre, uh, came before the, the Judaism, or before the, 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 the uh, is a Sumerian teaching. The Sumerians to believe they can build tall buildings and overpower God. Yeah, so you can see that it's been crippled into so-called the Old Testament, the Torah. So my point here is, when you, another one, if you know someone had intercourse with his own daughters, okay. yeah. would you allow him to teach your daughters? Would I allow him to teach my daughters? Yeah. Imagine being someone and said, you know this guy, he just had sex with his daughters. Would, I would have been there. No only. Unknowingly. Yeah, unknowingly. Yeah. Unknowingly. Yeah. He, he didn't know it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Go on. Would I let him you teach? Yeah. Wouldn't you if he changed? No, uh, he I mean, changed. I mean, you know, Islamically, if someone, you know, if, if there's a pedophile in Islam, 
Yeah. And he makes Tauba, he repents Allah and he changed. He, that's good, he changed, but you don't allow him with the children. To be safe. I so then you're not trusting in God, you're trusting no. in yourself. No, no, because you can't trust a man. Because man can, imagine now I bring someone as a pedophile. And he said, you know, star. yeah, because remember, no, Satan is inspired, inspired by, by Satan. Because yeah, he only have that urge. So okay. what we have to do, don't put him into, into that test. Yeah, but God you understand? Can change him. No doubt he can yeah. change him. So but it, God knows. Like, but we don't know. So it, okay. You so understand? Because you don't know. That's it. Uh, right. So we take precaution. Okay. You understand? Oh, so, okay. You understand? So that it makes sense. You understand? No, for, I, I, yeah, like, I'm for example, who, someone known that he, if you give him money, he takes it. He's known for that. So what you do if you if you repent, you say, I'm gonna give you a job, but you're not gonna be in charge of money. Okay. Even another job I give you. So you're not gonna encourage him. Encourage him, because right, it's right, all he right, knows, yeah, understand? Right, okay. Look at the Islamic teaching. Okay. So my point here is you in the in the old testament, the prophets and messengers, they were known to be evil. They're not. They were known to be evil. They were known. Yeah. In just the Bible or in, in the, no no in the Quran no, the Quran they were righteous. So they never all perfect. No, they're not perfect. They, as a humans, okay. they make mistakes. So what's the difference? What's your definition of evil? Okay, evil, fornication is, is the prophets and messengers do not fall into fornication, adultery. The prophets and messengers, they do not fall into paganism. The prophets and messengers, they will not commit evil sins. Make mistakes, for example, maybe get angry, insult you. That's human nature. From human nature it can happen. You understand? However, he will not they will not lie. You know why? Because imagine I bring someone to you now, I said this man is not to lie. But now he's claiming to be the prophet of the Most High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us, you know why? You just, you know, just, just stepping yeah. up now. Understand? Yeah. That's why the prophets and messengers in the Quran they are known to be what? Truthful ones. Right. Prophet David, Prophet David, what he did? He set up his own friend because he fell in love with his yeah, yeah, wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe that. We believe Prophet David never did that. That is a lie of the scribes who had the evil intention toward the prophets and the messengers of the Most High. So when you compare the teaching of Islam, it goes in line with our sound reasoning, with our natural inclination. That's why majority, that's why the fastest growing religion in the Western world, I mean, even on the first of the earth, yeah? But let us be in the Western world, is Islam. Do you know why? Because the one who legislates Islam is the same one who created human beings. But can I ask you what would happen? Let me finish the point. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm going to So, no, right. Right. so to show you why, yeah, why, why people are inclined towards Islam, yeah, yeah. because when the Creator creates us, He creates us with the tools that goes in line with Islam, clicks in. Okay. It's like a Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Understand? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, sorry, I've been talking no, for no, long. No, no, my bad. No, yeah, no, you're good, my bad. Yeah. So, what if the prophets never made mistakes? Then what? How, how, how like would I said, teach? Like I said, I said, making mistakes, they do, as human beings, but not in conveying the message. In right, conveying the message, explain. explain of that. Because when a prophet, when, when the Almighty chose a prophet to convey the message, mean he trusts these prophets. And he will make sure that message will reach the people. You understand? So when they convey the message, we will not make mistakes. But as a human beings, maybe he will, for example, our prophet Muhammad once was asked about type of tree. And he told him to do something, then he said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a normal human being like you, so I can, mistake, I can make mistakes about these issues. Yeah, yeah. Understand? Yeah. But whatever I tell you Allah said is the truth. But then didn't David just have a human act? Is that not what you're saying? Or is that just way too bad? My way too or bad, how, bro. So how do you, would you do that? How would you, you, no, 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 but it's not about me. I wouldn't do half the things that most men do. No, no, no but I'm saying as an honorable person, as an honorable person, would you set up with your friend to be killed? No, would you know your friend is fighting for you? No, but it's allegedly I've probably done worse. Huh? I've probably done worse. No, no, no. I'm saying, look, you as honor. So no, we don't know. I, I live a crazy, crazy lifestyle, yeah? Okay. But certain things I know I, I should not do. No, I agree. As human beings. I, I know if my friend is fighting for me, I'm not going to set him up to, ki to be killed because for I felt yeah, for a woman no, in the stand. So I'm not more honorable than Prophet David. I can't, I'm not even close to Prophet David. He's more honorable than me. If he did that, is it really that bad that? It's unforgiven or he still can't teach. No, he can be forgiven by the, logically, rationally. The Most High will not choose someone like him to be a prophet of his. Do you know why? Because the people already know this man can do anything. So what's the worst thing your prophets have done? What's it in your head? My prophet never done worse things. They've never done bad things? No, they never. No bad things at all? No, 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 no. They, so, they make me make mistakes, shortcomings. You say shortcomings. Like what? That's what I mean. Tell me the worst things so I know. We don't, we don't say worst things. We don't speak right. that about prophets. Tell, tell me 
No, no, we don't say. We don't Do you know what I'm trying to say, though? No, I understand that, but yeah. we, when we speak our prophets and messengers in Islam, Moses or Abraham or Jesus, we speak, we speak with respect. Okay. Because they are the chosen ones by the Most High. So do you think so, it's disrespectful to tell the truth? No, is this, no, they haven't done worse things. So what have so, they done? Make I mistakes about mistakes, you tell me. What type of mistakes? No, I told you. No, no way to lie. So, they never commit fornication. They never make adultery. They never betray people. So what did they do? I just want to know the difference. The difference. They were all protected from major sins, such as the ones he's mentioned. So adultery, yeah. uh, fornication, all these, all these major they were sins. They were protected by them. Yeah. All, all these major sins, they were protected uh, from these. Just the minor sins, mistakes. Yeah, no, we don't say minor sins. We say mistakes. Uh, mistakes. Uh, for mistake? example, for example. For mistake. example. The Torah teaches that King Solomon, for example. No, one thing. One second. Torah, Torah. For example, the mistakes they made. I mentioned about the tree. Okay. When the Prophet Muhammad was asked about the type of tree, he told him to do I feel like uh, the swing gum. He told him to do something. Okay. They came back to him and they said, Oh, Messenger Allah, what you said he was wrong. So I said, My, my mistake is a mistake I made. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. The other one, when the Prophet Muhammad was in a war, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Prophet Muhammad, the man came to him. I'll, I'll give you in the Quran. A, 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 a blind man came to him, he was a Muslim, to ask him a question about Islam. Yeah. To ask him a question about Islam. But Prophet Muhammad was busy with the leaders of his tribe because they were disbelievers and he thought they were going to listen to him. Yeah, yeah. So Prophet Muhammad turned away from him. He didn't answer him. So Allah corrected him for that. That is a mistake because Allah, Allah corrected him that the one who's seeking uh, uh, answer, you should answer him. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a mistake. Yeah, 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 you understand? Yeah, yeah. However, like the brother mentioned, as for falling into major sins, that Thank which you. that which negates their truthfulness and honesty and their uh, uh, honorability, then they are protected from that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's why your prophets and messengers very respected in Islam. Okay. You know Moses, Jesus. That's why if someone we're not even allowed to draw Jesus or Moses. Because these people are respected, we have to respect them. Yeah. When you try to mock them, you are mocking who indirectly? Yeah. The, the Almighty. You understand? Okay. So I'm what I say to you, when you look, because I see you an honest person, yeah, you see a person, yes. All of us, inshallah. Yeah. But when you look, if you want to worship God according to his teaching, is in Islam. Well, I will check that out, my yeah. you know, As a gift for you. Thank you're going to you. love this book. Thank you. And the one thing I would say is obviously I've watched you, I've seen you. Yeah. That's why I come to you. But I would like to say thank you. My brother. Thank you very much. Thank Allah bless you. Thank you, you the truth. See you thank guys. you very much. Take care. Where are you from? Sorry, are you from there? Woolwich. Woolwich. You know, I do come to Woolwich sometimes. Oh, yeah? I teach. Right. right. Can well, you should take, you take, take my number? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please. Because I'm coming. No, this, no, next Sunday I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. having barbecue. Yeah. So you can I'm come coming. with it. Yeah, 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 yeah come. <laughs> You eat too much, by the way. No. Alhamdulillah. Because if you I'm eat too much, to lose, if you eat too much, we're gonna invite you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brothers, cut out my number, please. Uh, 079. I'll let you pull it in, in uh, and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me pull it in. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you for teaching. You're welcome, brother, man. Yeah.